من ظهور الفارس المغوار هجمه لمصلحه الاخضر الى الامام تلعب اه جنن حبك جنن حبك المجد انا البطل ابا العلجن بلية بلية تحكم Va a proponer, pues parece que Castro se está inclinando por esa zona, Zavala por el medio, Jesús, y Torrado por la izquierda. El Chicharito, por la derecha, el Chicharito, el Chicharito, 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 ahí, ahí la tiene Torrado, Torrado la juega por abajo, el arquero sale, la tiene Gio, no hay arquero, no hay arquero, no hay arquero, no hay arquero, ¿quién le pega, quién le pega? Gio, eso, ¡Oh, gol, apago la luz y me voy. Junto con el de Guardado Jesús Pablo, el mejor gol de la Copa de Oro. Aquí el talento, el cómo manejar los tiempos, la distancia y sabiendo que había dos defensas dentro de la portería, Giovanni tuvo el temple, la elegancia, la categoría y el, el talento de meter el mejor gol de la Copa de Oro peleándolo con el de guardar. Yo creo que ya de cuatro hace el de guardar, porque este 6 6 se quita, vea la repetición. We call this one the improbable goal. Carlos Gatna, yes he can. Oh, what a goal! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Okay, we've titled this play the improbable goal because so many ridiculous things happen. He scored it running at full speed with a bouncing ball across his body with an unnatural reversed spin on the ball. And oh yeah, it's also mathematically improbable for someone to score from that position on the pitch. So let's send it over to our lab guy, Simon Bennett, who will explain. Remember grade 10 math? Euclidean geometry proved that the three angles of a triangle must add to 180 degrees. Roberto Carlos was just over 29 meters from the far post and about 22 meters from the near post. The width of the net is 7.32 meters wide. Therefore, the angle of ABC is 178.906665249 degrees, giving him an angle of just 0 0.820389499 degrees to score. However, this calculation is not complete because we haven't factored in the goal yet, and that's what makes this goal impossible. Bank Anderson, the keeper for Tenerife, is six foot three, and his range is three meters to either side. So, if he literally just stood there and lifted one of his arms, all mathematical probabilities of a goal would have been eliminated. What else do you want to know? Roberto Carlos was running full speed toward a bouncing ball that was going out of play. Kicking a ball across your body with your left foot would naturally create a clockwise spin, spinning away from the net. Yet he still managed to put a counterclockwise spin on the ball. 